Hello there. I just want to make a quick video. I won't keep it for long. I guess it's just a video about a technical thing I saw. I got this weird notification on my phone telling me that uh, they're going to start charging more money, <laughs> more data, if you watch videos on 1080p. What a scam. Like these greedy goofs ain't just printing the money. Now they just got to embezzle even more of it. Like data charges? You're already paying for your internet. And then you got to pay data on top of that? What a scam. But anyway, yeah, the reason I wanted to make this video is because a lot of my videos, or in fact most of my videos, I film at 1080p. The reason is such is because I use a lot of video game footage to prove points, especially about transhumanism and cloning cults and whatnot. And so I also wanted to tell my subscribers that if you watch one of my videos, make sure it's at 1080p or else you're not getting the highest quality graphics. So that being said, the idea that they might be charging more money for data... I don't know. It sounds pretty greasy. I have an internet plan with like a terabyte of data per month or some such nonsense. I pay an extraordinary amount of money for my internet to make sure that this kind of crap doesn't happen. But I imagine there's people out there that don't know that or whatever. And so when you go to watch one of my videos, make sure you set the, the video quality. Some of my videos aren't at 1080p because I wasn't filming back then at the highest quality graphics. I, you know, I wasn't even using the same computer at the time or whatever. But also then there's stuff like BitChute. I noticed BitChute seems to render all videos at 720p. You can't even get 1080p on BitChute, but that's okay. I mean, can't complain. It's a great backup. All 2,000 plus of my videos are over here. I mean... You just go to this page here, I'll link them all in the description section below, and you can just scroll down through literally 2,000 videos. And then at the same time, I noticed on my BitTube, and I like BitTube, it's a pretty decent quality platform, they do stream or run videos at 1080p, and it'll automatically run at 1080p if you just watch my videos over here. And I noticed also, too, some of the numbers, you look at the numbers I get, like 1,800 views with only 250 subs, but yet on YouTube, the same video only has 50 views. Hilarious. Susan, you are so weak. But anyway, whatever. I just wanted to warn people that when you watch one of my videos, at least on ScrewTube, they're going to manipulate. Like, I went to my sister's and a friend of mine's house, and I checked my videos, and I tried to Google me on, on their computers, different IP addresses, whatever. And my videos, even the ones that were 1080p, were starting, were playing at 420. Like, on purpose, YouTube was doing that so that my videos appear to be less quality than they actually are. So again, yeah, I record almost all my videos at 1080p. So if you're watching one and the quality sucks, that means YouTube turned the quality down on purpose. Like, wow. It never ceases to amaze me how cheesy, sleazy, and greasy their tactics are. Like, that Tyrion Lannister quote, If you fear what someone has to say, cutting out his tongue doesn't prove them wrong. It only proves how scared and weak you are. You know? And the idea that they use these sleazy, cheesy, underhanded tactics because they got nothing else. Like, weak. Weak. <laughs> I mean, I'm still blown away at some of the shadow banning. Like, I mean, this video here, where I go to Summerland and I see this Black Lodge Mason sitting in a car. And when I witness to him and start to talk to him, his arm starts bleeding in an upside down cross. 100 views. Come on on YouTube. You gotta be crazy on LSD to think that smart people will believe that nonsense. And that's really what shadow banning is these days. It's kind of like voter suppression. If you just get everybody depressed, they're not going to even get off their lazy arses in the first place to go and vote. And it's the same kind of principle. YouTube changes the views and then people just assume it's garbage and don't waste your time watching it, right? <laughs> even this video here. In November of 2019, when they demonetized me, they sent me an email saying, delete all your Flat Earth videos and we'll give you your monetization back. And I basically told them to go screw themselves. In not so many words, very polite or unpolite, I don't know, I got an anger problem. I pray God forgive me with it. But here's a video, 109 views. This video should have, I don't know, millions of views. And like this video here, I'm calling out professors I actually know, going to Canada's largest radio astrophysical observatory, and yeah, 100 views. But yeah, when you go to some of my other pages, thousands and thousands of views, you know, my bit shoot passed like a million views, almost 5,000 subs. But you know, not on YouTube. 
Like, and I was talking to some other people about it, and it seems like the Las Vegas event 2016 was like the cutoff date where YouTubers like me who started showing up on the scene after that, it's like we missed some kind of cutoff date where if you managed to get big before that happened and you weren't controversial, you're still okay kind of thing. But I, I, I honestly question YouTubers like Richie from Boston, Massive Two Shits, and, and guys like that who still have their YouTube channels. I mean, if you still have your YouTube channel at this point and you're claiming to be a conspiracy theorist, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Like, my original YouTube, obviously, deleted faster than I can write my name. And this new YouTube page here I got, if it were to get big, they'd just delete it too. But other people who still have their YouTube channel, I gotta wonder, you know? Like, or even Dr. Andrew Kaufman. They deleted all his videos talking about Cooties 19 and only left up the videos that didn't. I mean, he's being censored, but not completely shut down because I think in some cases, they know it would be too much bad press. However, you get guys like Rob Skiba here or uh, Face Like the Sun where they've been around for years and years and years, so that they made the cutoff date, as it were. And then you get guys like Mark Dice, where people say, you know, he may or may not be a shill, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or guys like Barricade Garage, he was talking about that the other day too. But this whole notion of, of censorship in general, if you still have your YouTube channel at this point, like, and you're talking about controversial things that's getting everyone else deleted... It makes me question a lot, right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. The point of the matter was that if you watch one of my videos, make sure it's set to the highest quality and not like just some 420 garbage. Make sure it's at 1080p. Unless, of course, like I says, you're one of these poor schmoes that's got to that's gotta pay for data with every minute you watch. I mean, obviously, that sucks. The whole idea that they're charging data on top of already charging for the internet. It's so skeevy and cheesy, just like, I mean, how greasy they get, worshipping their money, like, ugh. But whatever, even like checking my Facebook here, I noticed some of the censorship, shadow banning, whatever, even like with this, I'll see some posts where no one has liked it, and then other posts where like, I'm getting like 31 shares and 21 likes, but like, I mean, even my old Facebook that had thousands and thousands of followers before they deleted it. I had a couple videos or a couple posts get like 10,000 shares, 10,000 likes, and then, yeah, delete. <laughs> so, I mean, even if my new backup pages were to get big again, they just delete me again. And that makes me laugh because it shows how much they're scared of me. People like Mark Zuckerberg and Susan Wojcicki, I know they know my name. Say my name, boy. Say my name. Because I know you're scared of me. And that makes me laugh. I love living in these goofs heads rent free. But again, that's not really the point. The point of the video was to remind people to watch my videos at maximum setting, if you can or if you can afford it, whatever these days with data plans. Because like I says, checking my videos on someone else's computer, they were showing up at 420p, and they should be at 1080p. So uh, yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say about that. And if you want to watch my videos at the highest quality settings, I would go to my BitTube page. I have my last 425 videos uploaded here, starting with my main debunk the Big Bang, call out NASA's $52 million a day lie. I mean, even the Gambino crime family, you know, you know, Paul Castellano at his peak was making $52 million a year. A capo de capo making $52 million a year, but yet here's NASA making $52 million a day. I, I thought that's pretty gross. But anyway, yeah, so... If you want to watch the highest quality video graphics, I would check out my page here, aside from my rambling and whatnot aside. But as far as my uh, YouTube, I'm a go down with the ship kind of guy, and I'll keep rolling up backup pages until they don't let me anymore. But again, like I said, it's just, it is what it is, I guess. These greedy goofs like Mark Zuckerberg and Susan Wojcicki, they're just following orders. They sleep in Satan's bed. They love the devil's D, and they're just following orders. So, I mean, all you can do is just work around it. That's my advice. Like I says, when you watch a video, check first to see what the video quality's at. And, you know, little things like that. Or go to alternative platforms or whatnot. 
because obviously these uh, shysters are out there. They're out there doing their little skeevy thing because they got no other tactics. They know they're liars. They know they're scumbags. So the only thing they can do is is be underhanded about stuff. And, I mean, like I said before, that's weak. <laughs> but it makes me giggle knowing that these losers have no other tactics. That's all they got is, like, this petty, weak, soy boy, like, I don't know. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are. But it's, it's like some child on the playground who's got no other arguments, so they just scream, I know you are, but what am I? But now I'm just getting off topic, so I'll just say, peace out, baby. <laughs>